year of his deal. And Dak Prescott ain't been talking about no new money with the Cowboys. Keep in mind, Trevor Lawrence, he signed for $55 million last week. Dak Prescott, far better than Trevor Lawrence. So it's legitimately possible that Dak Prescott could get a new contract for $60 million, bringing in Dallas Cowboys expert Dave Hellman, because, Dave, I need you to answer me this. Should it be Dak's last season in Dallas? You were there for his first season working for the Cowboys in 16 when he got drafted. Might this be his last? Time flies when you're arguing, huh? Yeah, <laughs> eight years. You know, we frame these conversations so much in terms of, like, what the team should do. Should, should, is this guy worth paying? Should we pay this guy? It should be Dak's last year in Dallas. For Dak Prescott's sake, for Dak Prescott, I am ready to see this experiment end. I'm ready to see something new. I would love for this to be Dak's last year in Dallas, and he can go somewhere that, A, doesn't make him fight so hard for his money every single time he's up for a contract. B, wouldn't it be fun to finally get an answer to all of these questions? Who's to see fault is it? who's really at fault, Dak Prescott or the Dallas Cowboys? C, maybe my guy would earn a little bit more appreciation because you cannot tell me a guy with Dak's resume would catch half the hate if he played for any other team in the NFL. If Dak Prescott was out here with the L.A. Rams, or I, I think Matthew Stafford is a hell of a... Not, I'm not talking about their accomplishments, but just in terms of how they're perceived. Matthew Stafford, lacking success in Detroit, did not catch a lot of flack for it because he played for the Detroit Lions. Comes out to L.A. for a well-run organization in the L.A. Rams, wins a Super Bowl. I could see Dak Prescott, A, catching a hell of a lot less heat, mm. and B, seeing a lot more team success if he went somewhere else. And for that reason, I think it should be Dak's last year in Dallas. I think let's... Let's see. Maybe both sides could even benefit from a break. We know we talked about it earlier this week. Dallas has got to pay CD. They got to pay Micah Parsons. To their credit, it'd be a hell of a lot easier to do that without a big quarter, quarterback contract on the books. And we'll see how, how, how well the Cowboys can replicate this success. They fell backward into Dak Prescott at the end of the Tony Romo era. They found Tony Romo as an undrafted free agent. Could they do it again? I would love to find out. I'd love to see Dak go where he's appreciated, mm. and I'd love to see if the Cowboys can keep up this run of stumbling into good quarterbacks. I think it would be great. Dave. Yes, sir. Is that, um, like, you, like, want to see that happen, or are you just acting petty because everybody's so hard on Dak? <laughs> I think it's a little bit of both. Yeah, it's I a think little it's bit a of both. It's a little bit of coming both. out of you right there. I like, see what's <laughs> greener over there, and then y'all keep disrespecting Dak. Not, like only, not only do I think, yes, that is, that is part of it. I'll readily <laughs> okay. admit it, but... Don't you think it would be interesting? I mean... We, sit, we, we, we give the Cowboys, rightfully so, so much grief for not getting over the hump. Mm -hmm. We give Dak Prescott so much grief for falling short in the playoffs. But, guys, I brought him up a minute ago. It's starting to become eerie how similar Dak is to Tony Romo. The resumes are getting kind of scary. Yeah, you can see it on the screen here. Like, the, the numbers are the same. The playoff records are very similar. The accolades are very similar. Yeah. Dak was recently named All-Pro. Tony never did that, but it's very similar. You know, and you know what? And, and sorry, not to cut you off, Shady, but when Tony was the quarterback, it was this same song and dance of if they could only get a quarterback who could yeah. win in the clutch. What are the odds that they have done this mm. twice in a row? I know. Or, or maybe it's more than just the quarterback. Like, maybe there's oh, more to more. it than all this. That's more. Stuff you want to see. I would love to see Tony Romo with this type of roster, the Cowboys, the last two years. Tony, Ro Tony Romo's been on 13 win teams before. Yeah. That's not what I said. With it's seven, said. seven different Pro Bowlers, what I said. Hall of Famers on his I roster. I... <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see Tony Romo with these type of talented Cowboys team. <laughs> He, he never... Tony Romo not, played with DeMarcus Ware, Terrell yeah, Owens, yeah. Jason Witten. Keep going. Keep mm -hmm. going. Yeah. Keep going. That's, is that not no. Tony good enough? First of all, no disrespect to T.O. because T.O. was phenomenal. He was a little, he was a little older when he got no, over there. Never. He actually never got to play with Yo, me. Yeah, a little, little over, older. Okay, and then Ware was phenomenal. But look at that whole defense, though. You got all pro corners. The backups was all pros we didn't even know about. We didn't know Bland was that good. Did you? I didn't know. I didn't know, sir. Oh, you got hurt? Cool. We got another all pro waiting to go. Step on Gilmore, deepest, uh, a former deepest part of the year. Don't make me do this, though. You're not sitting up saying that, that, that this roster right here today, this, the, the players they have, is just as good as the Tony Romo roster. We're not doing that, are we? We're not doing that. Tony Romo has played on comparable or played on comparable teams. Should it be Dak's last anyway, season too far? Yeah, I'm going to say it, it should anyway. be his last year just because I just think that, like, Dave has a point. Whose fault is it, right? Is it, the, is it the Cowboys' fault that we can't get over the hump? Is it Dak Prescott's? I think it's more Dak's than anybody's. Mm -hmm. And I feel like now, look, man, I'm tired of fighting for my money. I'm tired of being blamed. And then on the other side with the Cowboys, I look, man, 
We tired of paying you all this money and, 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 and loading you up with all these great rosters, all these great players. Say seven, eight, or was it nine All-Pro? What was it? A lot. Yeah. Eight, nine All-Pro? I don't know what it was, Dave. Few, fewer now. Seven, seven, seven eight All-Pros on one team. So it's like, yo, for our job, we gave you your money and we gave you All-Pro and great rosters. What have you gotten us? Mm. Some good regular season games? Mm. Couple good wins? So my thing is, yes, Dave, you are right. It's time for him to go. That feels so now, So now we get to the postseason, right? Whatever the quarterback may be, it'll be his fault. Mm. Because we're tired as an organization. We're paying you all this money, giving you everything you need, and all we get is patting the back, some claps, and we going home for the playoffs. Dave, oh, you know Dak very well. James, you know Coach Mike very well. Other side of this commercial break, James Jones, who played for head coach Mike McCarthy and won a Super Bowl there. I want you to weigh in. Should this be Dak Prescott's last season? Nope. But general manager, Andrew Barry, he's optimistic. He says his quarterback is making excellent progress, adding, quote, honestly, if you didn't know he got hurt last year, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Bringing us on camera, I think Deshaun Watson will be back to the best version of himself. Mm. Ooh, please let us know what yeah. tells you that. Tell like, me all what? about it. Quarterbacks get paid for two reasons, so I'm going to assess Deshaun in two ways. You get paid based on how well your team performs, or you get paid based on how well you perform. Deshaun Watson led the league in touchdown passes, but his team was 4-12. and 12. Touchdown and passing yards, but his team was 4-12. and 12. But Deshaun got paid. Joe Flacco was atrocious, statistically speaking. Playoff run went crazy. But his team won a Super Bowl. Joe Flacco got paid. There's two ways that quarterbacks can succeed in the NFL. Either your team does well or you do well. I do not see a 4,900, 5,000-yard passing Deshaun. But his best career in Houston was 11-5. and five. I do see 11-6. and six. Deshaun in Cleveland. I do see the best version as it pertains to winning in Cleveland because last year Deshaun Watson was five and one as a starter. He's eight and four as a starter in his duration in Cleveland. So for as bad as he has been in comparison to old versions of Deshaun and as bad as he has been depending on what statistics you want to pull from Deshaun, the Cleveland Browns were still winning. Now, he might have gone along for the ride as opposed to being the conductor for the ride, but when push comes to shove, they were still winning. So the best diversion of Deshaun is 11 and 5. I think Deshaun can help command and help lead the Browns to 11 wins. I think he can help command and lead them to 10 wins. He can help command and lead them to 12 wins because last year before his departure, they were 5 and 1. He, Albeit he left some games, he entered some games, but they were still winning. Th this is the problem with, with, with that take, right? Because you are right to a certain extent, right? We want wins, we want wins. or we want production, right? One I get two. Or right. both. Preferably. But the th only thing is when you jump out as a superstar, you can't go back to this playing regular average and y'all winning games and you get credit for it. It don't work like that. Mm. Think about it. Who, who can do that? Who, you go from being Deshaun Watson to the stuff we see him do, play electrifying football, throwing, running, et cetera, et cetera, to just being average and y'all winning games? You can't do that. They don't, they don't, the NFL don't work like that. Maybe for them, them other dudes that's not as good as Deshaun talent-wise, listen, last couple of years, I've been rooting for Deshaun Watson, right? Oh. I've been saying, look, man, he gonna return because there's no way this brother can be that good and then now be that bad. I'm out of hope. It's over. I don't think he's returning back to being that type of player. I don't even see it. Yeah. I don't see it. Maybe these guys over here can tell you something others, but I can't. I can't see it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with Shady because in two years, you got 14 touchdown passes. Hmm. I think last time I checked, they paid you 250 gear run. Yeah, yeah, 230. 230. Fully guaranteed. Fully Guaranteed all of it. money. Yeah. Yeah. So you saying, Acho, a man that we gave $230 million guaranteed, you cool with him being Jimmy Garoppolo? Hmm. He, is he that bad? He ain't that bad. No, no, no. Is he that bad, though? I'm just going, just off, I'm just going off of what Acho said, because Acho said, as long as 11 wins if your team wins. I get it. I get Jimmy it. G, 